Sup peoples, welcome back to See These CDs, where in each one of these videos I try and take a closer look at a select CD from my own personal collection and, uh, you know, just explore the overall cover artwork, uh, graphic design, and packaging for the CD. Uh, if you haven't figured it out, today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the artwork for uh, Lupe Fiasco's 2007 project, The Cool, um, which more specifically was released uh, December 18th, 2007. Um, under Atlantic Records and uh, First and Fifteenth, which you know, if you're not you know, uh, familiar with that, that's you know, uh, Lupe Fiasco's uh, label. Um, it's you know, well over an hour at, uh, or I want to say well over an hour. Now I'm thinking about it, a little bit over an hour at uh, 70 minutes and 44 seconds. And uh, man, just this is a crazy body of work. This has to be like, you know, in my opinion, and I, I would say I I could probably argue this pretty well. This has to be one of the best. Like hip hop rap CDs to ever be released, um, or ever to be like created, composed, put together, whatever you want to say. Like I don't know, just uh, man, like just just uh, the level of impact. I don't even know if it really like it. Definitely, there was definitely an impact. I'm not gonna, you know, you can't deny Lupe did have an impact on the game when he first came out. Um, his first two CDs, you know, being practically friggin' uh, impeccable. Um, I would say at least. But yeah, this 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 CD itself, like this is the first Lupe CD I purchased. I mean, I liked the whole kick push thing, and I was with it with that. I just didn't purchase CD. I was more into buying CDs when he dropped this. And yeah, like I was saying, I mean, the, the music completely blown away. Personal favorite, the Die uh, featuring Gemini. Great track. I remember you know playing the shit out that song, uh, washing dishes in the back of. You know, my old job when I was in high school. I remember walking to school. And this is like December, so, you know, whatever day it was, 18th, probably like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever. I remember walking to school, hearing motherfuckers, like, play the CD out their car, kind of being in disbelief, like, damn, they're playing Lupe, they Lupe shit, like, damn, people are really out here listening to Lupe like that. And then going to, you know, the mall with my boy, you know, picked the CD up. Uh, but yeah, you know, like I said, this is definitely a classic. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, but let's get into the actual artwork. Um, you know, from the the front cover, uh, you know, excuse me, this is like a you know a plastic uh, CD casing. Nothing wrong with that. Not trying to discredit it, but there is a uh, element of glare uh, to it, so it may be a little bit difficult to see the cover. When I pick it up, you'll be able to see like the different dimensions to it. Uh, generally, it's just like a black background. Um, it's more of like a triangle in the center, and then like two circles going around uh, the you know the triangle. As you can see, uh, one being more in the inner workings of the triangle. It kind of like cuts it off while the other seeming to be at its points. Each one of the points of the triangle has a different symbol, um, which represents uh, different themes in the album. Um, I know the top, uh, you know, with the skeleton hand, that's, that's I would believe that, that would be the hand of the streets. I want to say it's like the streets, the game, and then uh, there's something else. The streets, the game. Oh, is that the streets? Because it's the streets, the game, and the cool. So I don't know if the, the hand at top is actually um, the uh, the hand of the streets or the hand of the cool. But, um, you know, and then we just have, you know, Lupe in the center. Um, everything else aside from the black backdrop is kind of like a, a faded, like, gray or brown type color. Aside from, you know, Lupe's name in the center, uh, which is drawn, drawn in some, like, you know, written in some really dope, uh, you know, typography. Um, it's uh, like a gold, uh, you know, like gold... Uh, lettering um so yeah i know i did this a little bit you know reverse order i think it's because i got too amped about you know talking about lupe when i purchased cd and whatnot uh but yeah as far as like the art direction and design goes uh that's credited to nathan cabrera uh, which he's actually a um you know he's actually like a comic book artist he has worked on other cds um not too many others i think there's like four others when i when i looked into it and, um, you know, he, I guess he created uh, the comic book Witchblade, if you're familiar with that. But he's also animated, um, you know, like various images for, uh, you know, Spawn, uh, Fallout Toy Works, and, um, you know, other just various like Marvel and DC, uh, you know, works. He has a pretty decent resume if you want to look, you know, further into him. I thought it was pretty cool that Lupe was incorporating him to the CD when I, like, you know, did my homework. Um, because it definitely plays to, like, you know, Lupe and his character, how he portrayed himself and the things he's, like, interested in. So it makes sense that he would work with, like, a comic book uh, designer. Uh, I skipped over the creative direction. That was, you know, accident. Um, but at the same time, I guess it, it could be said it was a little bit purposeful. Um, when I, 
it, all right, so creative direction for this CD, it's credited to Righteous Kung Fu, which originally I just thought that was like some cool, like, you know, nickname, moniker, whatever you want to say. Uh, but when I started to, like, you know, when I started to look further into it, um, I found that they were also, um, or Righteous Kung Fu, more specifically, was also creative direction for Food and Liquor, which is uh, Lupe Fiasco's debut album, if you're not familiar with that. Um, but then from further research, I found that it's not really like an individual, it's more of just like a, um, like a, I guess like a state of mind or kind of like a, a mantra of uh, Lupe's. Um, it's like a, he describes it as like a lifestyle um, that Lupe, you know, has described as keeping him like more grounded. Uh, so, you know, I, I, it does make sense a little bit confusing, you know, when you're, when you're actually doing your homework about these CDs. And I didn't see Righteous Kung Fu, you know, titled to um, any of the other uh, CDs that Lupe has produced or, you know, created or anything like that. Though I know uh, within the past like few years, I've, I've still seen like, uh, videos of, you know, Lupe, uh, I know he's playing with, like, winning katanas and things like that, you know, doing, uh, you know, pra- you know, basically, like, practicing, like, fencemanship and swordsmanship, whatever you want to say, so I'm assuming he probably still participates in martial arts, considering he said that he was, you know, connected to it or, you know, began uh, as a martial artist from the age of, like, two or three, um, for the art manager, uh, that's credited to Tamiwa uh, Aladekuma, which, you know, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Um, he was actually uh, the art manager for Atlantic at the time, and he also has nine other albums under his belt uh, as far as, like, you know, being the art manager for. So, you know, Lupe, uh, Lupe's The Cool is one of the, those nine CDs um, that are included. Um, he currently runs or, you know, created a Quirk. Um, which they they basically just do the whole like artwork, um, you know, for you. I don't know if they specifically only work with like musicians uh, to create albums, CDs, and things like that, or they they probably do like I'm assuming they do like you know other things. I mean, if you came to them with a DVD, I'm sure they would help out because essentially they assist with like you know packaging, uh, you know, the artwork. Um, promotion, like everything that comes down to like you know the visual element. Um, I guess as far as, like, advertising goes or, like, sp- spreading awareness, uh, you know, for whatever, you know, you're doing. Um, so, yeah, I thought, you know, that was pretty interesting. Uh, I seem to be a pretty esteemed uh, individual. If you want to look further into, uh, you know, uh, like I said, Tamawa Adelaide Kumo. Like I said, please forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrect. Um, but then for photography, uh, that was credited to uh, Andrew Painter, which uh, if you check out his website, there's a whole bunch of, like, very cartoony, um, you know, like, types of um, animations. Uh, I don't know if he's no longer does photography. He's just moved more into uh, maybe what he's more passionate about. It's definitely a possibility. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, he's animated things like, uh, you know, like Monopoly, uh, which seem to be, like, you know, advertisements for them, uh, logos and whatnot. Uh, there's also, like, a Captain America image up there. Uh, he's done work with Bic. And then I also saw uh, kind of like a, a newer illustration for Tony the Tiger, kind of like a revamp. So I don't know if he's 100% credited to that or if he was just trying to, or maybe Kellogg came to him and see, if, like, you know, what he could do with uh, the image, the entity of, you know, Tony the Tiger. Uh, also, um, uh, Lionel DeLuis was credited for photography on this project as well. Um, and he's, you know, he's working with various, um, artists as well as just like other companies. Um, as far as like magazines go, you know, different publications, uh, he's worked with, uh, The Source, uh, Wired, uh, Vibe, GQ, and L. Uh, but there's plenty of other magazines as well. Uh, he's a pretty esteemed, uh, French, um, photographer. Uh, and he's, I was kind of, Based on, you know, that those credentials, I was surprised that he's also worked with so many, you know, hip-hop artists. Um, I saw, you know, Losos Way on there. It was Yo Los Radioactive. Uh, Yo, Yo Gotti's uh, Live from the Kitchen was on there. Um, then there was other just words from, like, you know, like, I want to say I saw, uh, like, hmm... I may be, I may be actually, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say more because I think I, I may be mistaken it with like a, something else, but yeah, you know, it's pretty esteemed photographer, very, very affiliated with hip hop, but also worked with just like, you know, a whole bunch of just different kind of, uh, big like companies, magazines, publications, uh, things with like, you know, print involved. So, you know, check them out. Uh, if you know, if you want to get a little bit more information on that artist, um, as far as packaging production goes now, there is a lengthy artist team on, you know, uh, you know, connected to uh, the cool. Um, I don't know if that's just because it's, you know, it's got a label behind it. I would assume uh, 2007, you know, labels were definitely more prevalent than they were. Granted, they were probably on the decline around that time. I believe 2004 was, you know, where like uh, 
brick and mortar store really took like a hit uh so yeah it was definitely on the decline but you know there's a whole bunch of people behind putting together the visuals for this cd um so packaging and production was credited to brian rainey uh which you know when i looked uh, further into his, like his discography or just things that he was affiliated with as far as like music goes um he did packaging and production also for uh teenage mutant Ninja turtles 2007 soundtrack showing for you know the movie i think it was like an animated movie um there was uh, gucci Mane's uh cd back to the trap house uh, which is a pack Packaging for uh, I've seen several Paramore, Panic by the Disco uh, project, Paramore and Panic by the Disco. If you're not familiar, projects that he was also affiliated with the packaging for, and uh, also some projects for Mano. Um, other projects he did for Lupe was uh, Lasers and uh, Food and Liquor Two, uh, which, like I said, he all he handled the packaging, you know, or had packaging cr- uh, credits for each one of these uh, projects. And uh, lastly, I'm not really sure how um, if this was like art in terms of visual uh, oriented um credits but for layout which like i said i'm not really sure you know what layout means uh, but that was credited to uh, john reagan um which he's also he's a musician uh a musician a songwriter a producer a bassist and guitarist uh he was a guitarist for x kiss um which i would believe is you know like a rock alternative band all right so yeah i already like you know really broke down the cover i mean i think the only thing i like failed to mention is just the uh, parental advisory logo or label uh which is in the lower right hand corner of the cover of the cd uh so i mean i guess we can just yeah, we can take a look at the binding uh there's nothing really there on top um on this side you know the very top of the binding um it shows lupe fiasco on the left hand side and then uh, once again, Lupe Fiasco is the cool in the center. Atlantic Records at the end on the right hand side, uh, which you know that the, the, those numbers that we we still don't. I, I should look into that and figure out what those numbers mean. Yeah, it's basically the same thing on the opposite end. Um, flip this sha she dish. I don't really need to get that in focus. I'm probably gonna cut that out because uh, it's 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 literally this, it's just the same thing. Just want to focus. There we go. All right, cool. So yeah, same thing. Just to give you guys a comprehensive look. On the back, uh, the back is uh, very simple, uh, basic, um, clean. Uh, it's just you know, uh, I mean, you can't get much more uh, simple and clean than that. It's a black background, uh, white text. Uh, each one of the tracks is in order with the numbers. On the left hand side, uh, the numbers are a little more tinted uh, to that like you know like br- that faded like brown or like you know, kind of rust color uh, that we saw in the, in the front uh, that kind of made uh, the, uh, that symbol that was on the front, you know, the triangle, like I was talking about, you know, the streets and uh, the game and stuff like that in the beginning. Um, and then, you know, toward the bottom, we have, um, you know, the executive producers. Man, free chili, that's so crazy. Um, and then uh, we got, like, you know, um, the barcode, left-hand side, as well as uh, Atlantic, right-hand side, or at least their logo, uh, 1st and 15th, right besides it, or, you know, 1st and 15th logo. And then, uh, you know, more text for legality in the center, uh, FBI warnings and such. Uh, if we want to flip around to the front of it, we have, uh, you know, like I was saying, which now I'm looking at both of it, it's, those are two different symbols. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's like, oh man, I wish I knew exactly which, you know, which this is, but, uh, these are representing different, uh, key themes throughout the CD. Uh, Lupe personifies each one of these, uh, you know, themes. It's like, you know, like I was saying before, it's like the game, the streets, and then, uh, there's something else. There's one other thing I'm, I'm failing to mention. Uh, yeah, the game, the streets, and I think the cool, or it's either, it's, it's that, it's what I just said. If not, then it's like those three elements, com, you know, compose the cool. Uh, but you know, we have, the, we have the hand of one of those elements on this side, um, which is, you know, it's kind of like a Grim Reapers, uh, type hand. Uh, same, um, you know, like theme or aesthetic, uh, that runs throughout the entirety of the city, black background, um, with like, you know, either like that brown faded color or like here, it seems like it's, it's meant to look more like a goldish color while we have the, the brown or faded color on this side, um, you know, on the back of the booklet. Uh, if we just want to pop the CD off, you know, the background, uh, it's, you know, pretty basic, similar to majority of CDs we see, nothing too out of the ordinary that we do see, uh, the, you know, the graphic from the front, uh, you know, you know, from the back a little bit, I'll place that down. And then, all right, so this is like one of the characters I was talking about where, you know, like I said, Lupe personifies each one, you know, the cool, the, um, you know, the, the streets, like, you know, each one of those throughout the project, you hear from them, each project, um, each song rather, uh, as it progresses through. And sometimes Lupe, uh, raps from their perspective as well as a uh, Gemini does 
does at times also. There's just a lot of depth and layers to the CD. I mean, you could, you could really break it down. Lupe likes to, you know, make these more complicated, um, like, I guess, story arcs or just uh, concepts for a CD. There's nothing wrong with that. He's very good at uh, pulling it off, um, as you can see with these first two CDs. And he has, a, he has other CDs as well, which are, you know, pretty dope. You know, I can't really hate on him or anything like that. Lupe is a quality artist. I wouldn't say all his music always hits with me, um, but he's definitely you know proven uh, to, to you know to uh, be able to like perform at a level where he can consistently produce music throughout the years, and he can continuously be relevant whether or not um, relevant or just I guess like impactful or you know just m take uh, like some uh, I don't know like. Like basically, like hit the game in some type of way. Um, he's shown that he can produce music that fits into you know the current era while still remaining timeless and still being quality work. Um, I don't know if you guys heard. Um, what was it? It was uh, Enemy of State. But when he dropped that, I was like blown away. So I was like, damn, I haven't heard Lupe in so long. And it was just such a nice little compact, dope body of work. Lupe just getting off, going off. So he's definitely a top tier lyricist, no doubt, top tier rapper. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up this booklet. All right, so like the story element is also continued throughout this booklet. Uh, you, you know, you're gonna see that um, in each one of uh, you know these photos. Uh, this is like a graveyard where we have uh, this character, which is you know on the back of the CD. If you can't see too well, I'll try to. It's a little difficult to see. I'm gonna bring that closer just so we know who we're talking about. All right, so this character, like I said, he that he also had, that's the hand uh, that we saw on the front of the CD uh, cover itself. Um, he's standing in front of this grave site, um, you know, where uh, there's some tombstones. Um, on the left hand side, we see the grave. It's Michael Young History. Yeah, Michael Young History, which I'm not sure if that's really his name. And then on the right hand side, we have like almost like a, a logo, similar to like the Yankee logo. And then, um, you know, it just says, uh, it just says, um, Lord, please have sympathy and forgive uh, Michael Young history. So I don't know. That might be like wordplay. I don't know if Michael Young history is an actual character or like I said, if it just fits into the story, um, you know, that, that Lupe uh, portrayed throughout the CD. Uh, once again, we have the same character. It's a, it's a better shot of him. Um, uh, like I said, this is either the, the cool, let me, let me check something really fast. Uh, yeah, so it's the cool, the streets and the game. Um, so I, I want to say that this, uh, man, he's pro, I want to say he's, I'm not sure exactly, but he does re represent one of the, you know, the characters. I just don't want to say like, oh, he's this one and then he ends up being somebody else. Uh, but yeah, and then on the opposite end, once again, in the background, we have the, you know, black backdrop, uh, with that same hand, uh, representing that character. Um, I don't know if that means that, you know, all of these tracks, which I, I doubt because this is the vast majority of the CD, uh, you know, or from the perspective or represent this character. I don't think so. Uh, but you know, you, you see each one of the, you know, this, uh, the, the tracks, uh, with the credits and their titles, uh, listed. Uh, right here, let's get a nice shot of each one. Oh, High Definition is another song. Snoop Dogg is going off on that. It's like, damn. Good, yeah, just some good songs on this CD, man. It's just a great CD. Um, then we're, if we want to continue, uh, we have, you know, each one of the characters, the streets, the cool, and the game on the left-hand side, uh, you know, with the full moon behind them looking pretty spooky. Uh, like they're, you know, uh, from some type of, like, I don't know, uh, Maybe they, they seem kind of undead or from the, you know, maybe like they're from a different realm uh, or, you know, more spiritual or something like that, different dimension, blah, blah, blah. Then we have Lupe um, on the opposite end, the right hand side, seemingly telling them to either hush or he's just putting his finger to his chin to, you know, maybe ponder at them, trying to figure out what the hell, you know, is going on with these dudes. Uh, but that's just a black backdrop, uh, you know, behind Lupe. But it's pretty interesting. Um makes me wonder just like what what's what's with the opposition of like you know all the light on this side versus this side where it's more just darkness and simple uh from where lupe is coming from uh but yeah it just makes me you know wonder what the uh, significance of that is uh once again we have uh you know more tracks listed um you know uh, i want to see it's probably a third of the tracks on the uh the right hand side uh you know with the symbol of this character um so she would have to be um, she, yeah, she has to be, she's the streets. Yeah, she's definitely the streets. Uh, so, you know, then we have her just like, you know, peering into the, uh, the camera, um, you know, money signs in her eyes. Interesting, you know, um, 
just an interesting photo. Like, and I mean, I know it was definitely like, you know, edited Photoshop or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's just like, you know, there's a lot to take away from here. There's also some text on her chest. There's a locket. Like, there's a lot of symbolism in her images and each one of the images of these characters. Um, you know, that's what, you know, Lupe, you know, put into the CD. Um, there's, you know, a lot to it. Uh, the book is not very lengthy. Um, you know, this is practically the end of it right here. Uh, we have Lupe, you know, walking away from them in the background. I don't know if that means he turned his back on each one of those elements because maybe, you know, he's risen above them. I don't know if that's what he's trying to say or it's just maybe he's risen, risen from their influence. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, this is about the end of the booklet. We have Lupe over here on the right-hand side walking away, which I'm assuming is the, sh the city of Chicago uh, behind him uh, since, you know, Lupe, if you don't know, is a Chicago native. Uh, but yeah, then we just have on the back uh, that last image um, of the you know the other symbol. Uh, so it's like I said, it's either the streets, the cool, um, or the game. And uh, yeah, I mean that was uh, Lupe Fiasco's um, the cool project. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the visuals for it. Uh, you know, lot, there was a lot of names uh, featured um, you know in this CD uh, as far as like you know working on the visuals and uh, you know the overall uh, you know graphic design for the CD. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, that's one of my favorite CDs, one of my most impactful CDs that you know definitely affected me uh, as far as like you know uh, listening to music and consuming it even the body of work as far as like the graphics go i remember you know going through this booklet a lot just taking looks at it so yeah you know like i said this is uh you know like i always say this is see these cds thanks for checking out these videos uh please engage any way you can subscribe comment uh share you know whatever you can do is much appreciated and tell me if there's any any other cds you want to hear um you know going forward or you know you want like me to check out going forward but thanks for checking out the video like i said already this has been see these cds all right people Peace. I'm out.